Welcome into our Fed Talks executive video series. I'm Billy Mitchell and we're here with Eric Heisen, CIO of the Department of Homeland Security. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Billy. So Eric, what steps have your, has your agency taken to improve customer experience and service delivery in light of the recent White House executive order on federal customer experience? Yeah, thanks. At, at DHS, we have really embraced President Biden's executive order on customer experience. We interact with more members of the public every day than any other federal agency. So we've made this a top priority to modernize our services uh, and improve those experiences. Uh, two areas that I'll highlight today, uh, one that may be, that is likely common to many people watching that's going through TSA, and another that uh, I hope many of our viewers don't have to experience very often, which is applying for disaster assistance with FEMA. Uh, TSA is working to moder uh, simplify the travel experience from curb to gate. They're rolling out mobile driver's licenses and they're using touchless technology uh, to enable you to check your bag, go through the TSA checkpoint, and board your flight uh, after opting in all with just a quick photo. I got to see this in action and do this myself in Detroit a few weeks ago, uh, and it really uh, is incredibly impressive and simple when you're able to put it all together. Uh, on the other end, uh, FEMA is working to improve and simplify the disaster assistance application for uh, nat survivors of natural disasters. Uh, it's far too complicated to apply for assistance when you're at one of the lowest points in your life. You're answering questions and navigating multiple different government agencies. And in addition to the technology, uh, we've learned that the policies that we put in place uh, can be overly burdensome as well. So one of the things I've been most excited about that FEMA has done recently is they've simplified and streamlined the policy requirements for proving home ownership and residence for disaster survivors, which reduce burden and increase equity. Uh, so far, they've seen these changes enable 100,000 survivors to receive nearly $347 million in additional assistance. So those are just two of the areas I've been uh, really excited about so far. And Eric, where do you see the greatest opportunities in, in your line of work as the CIO of DHS for AI and ML and automation to improve such citizen services? Sure. So AI and automation are top of mind for me as they should be for, for every CIO. The potential and the current usage of these technologies uh, in many of the examples I just gave and others is massive to uh, improve and speed up identification, verif identity verification, to uh, look at how we are parsing documents, reducing manual need, uh, to ultimately take tasks that computers are better at doing than uh, humans and allow our human officer, uh, our officers and our employees across the department to spend less of their time doing administrative work and more of their time exercising security judgment. But at the same time, the risks of these technologies are very real. Uh, we know that without proper guardrails and oversight, there is a serious risk of al algorithmic bias in our applications of AI. Uh, the public needs to be able to understand how AI and algorithms are applying to them, and in many cases have the ability to opt out and choose a manual or human alternative. So at DHS in 2020, we issued a department-wide AI strategy, and we're working closely uh, with the uh, White House and other agencies to make sure that as we incorporate these technologies, we're fully accounting for and, man and mitigating against these risks so that we can move forward responsibly. Eric, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.